Free my music, music. This is Jeffrey Taylor from Jeffrey Show Live, and I'm here at Southern Honor Wrestling with the one and only Joe Black. How are you feeling this evening? I'm ready to kick some ass. You're back, and you're ready to kick some ass. What do these athletes need to know about you now that you're back? That I am just as lethal with the spoken word as I am with my in-ring acumen. And I also actually work out because, you know, you got to look the part, not just like somebody that just kind of came off the street, like 85 percent of Georgia Indies. So, I mean, I think I'm the total package as it pertains to a professional wrestler because I do look professional. I have professional gear, professional headshots. I wrestle professionally. I was trained professionally and I speak as a professional. So I guess what they really need to know is I'm coming for your spot if you got a spot worth taking. I think they got that message loud and clear, but I have to ask, I think that you're a future Southern Honor champion. What do you think about that championship here at Southern Honor Wrestling? It needs to be represented by a better caliber of athlete. Nothing against Allen Angels, the kid is phenomenal. I remember when he first started at A4, stars in his eyes and the universe in his mind is dope, but someone of my acumen, of my caliber, I feel like I can take that belt and expand it into other places. Um, make it not just a Southern Honor title, but maybe take it somewhere and make it a regional thing. Kind of like a crown that I used to wear back in the day. It wasn't just a Georgia crown because I took it to New York, I took it to Jersey, I took it to North Carolina, Texas, etc. So maybe I can do the same for the Southern Honor title. That'd be dope. I love that. Joe Black, future plans in the wrestling industry as a whole, it's always a mystery with you. I gotta be honest, it's the last year that I interviewed with you. It's kind of like we know great things are already bestowed, they're happening right now, but just hear from your mouth yourself because people always like to, in my opinion, like to talk for you. <laughs> in the blogs, in the media, like from your eyes, what's the future? Um, that's a really loaded question. I really don't think too far into the future because I'm one of those souls that lives in the moment. Um, I don't say this for sympathy, but I have no contingency plan if wrestling doesn't work. I mean, I have a high intellect. I have, you know, other talents and gifts, but I poured so much into professional wrestling that I have to make it in wrestling or I feel like I'm just going to cease to exist. I don't mean sound morbid because, I mean, that's enough people's gimmick anyway, but future i would like to get a contract and actually make a living with wrestling instead of doing it more so because i love wrestling and then going broke because of my love for wrestling so if wrestling can start paying at wrestling i love you i've loved you since i was four and you introduced me to the undertaker and macho man i love you so much can you please love me back please i'm a really good talker i lift weights i'm a good in-ring technician wrestling please this is my plea to you wrestling I need you to open your arms and embrace me as your own. None of these other guys can love you the way that I do. They can't do you the way that I do. I'm a Jodeci song. These other guys are auto-tuned. Just, just, come on. It's time for you to pay me back, wrestling. I've been patient with you for 10 years. It's time for some commitment. So yeah, that's, yeah, commitment. Put a ring on that finger. Joe, we know you're an actionist tonight, so I don't want to take too much more of your time. Thank you so much. And I don't have to wish you the best because I know that you're going to hurt somebody this evening. Solid.